Hello and welcome back to New and Old Survival. Happy 4th of July to you and to your family and for all of those that are currently serving in the U.S. military or police enforcement, I thank you. And for those that have uh, given their life so that we could remain free and contrary to all the events that's been going on recently with the pandemic and the riot, America is still the best place to be in the world. I truly believe that and I'm blessed by God to be able to enjoy this freedom that we now have. Now, today we're going to be solar canning and right now the sun is obscured by a cloud but still I thought it would be a good time to get this intro and I'm not squinting. We're going to be solar canning cream cheese. Stick around. Now, as I should point out, this is the canning uh, method. Uh, it probably it does, goes everything against anything that Ball or the NTCSC, whatever the canning association is. However, this is what I do. And if you don't trust this method, it's easy. Don't do it. Right now, I have four eight ounce blocks of just great value cream cheese uh, with two pounds. Since this is the first time that we've tried solar canning it, I have, let me pan over here, my all American sun oven. And, and we've got our four jars. I have a pot with a little bit of water in it, a uh, case knife or a butter knife, I've always called it. And to put the cheese in the pot to get them started or in the jars excuse me and uh, let's get a temperature shot if, if it'll zoom in and be able to see it I don't know if you can or not nope of course but let's start putting the stuff in jars close the lid and uh, see what happens okay I've just put one pack into one jar and you can see that I have those air bubbles and there's quite a large one so even though as I skim across the top uh, it filled it exactly to the top uh, what I hope to ex or what I expect is once it melts then I can go back in uh, with a little plastic tool or something and uh, make sure there's no air so let me get the other three loaded up and continue on from there all four jars and yes I have my coffee and if you can't drink coffee on a hot day we don't need to be friends right now I still don't have any sun all right put them in the canner oh this table's a little slick and this I'm just gonna lock down the first one now this is our siding tool and for some reason mine keeps popping off so the only time that I ever really use it is set it up here go from the back and when the sun enters this hole then the hole on the bottom will be in the center of your uh, bright light but I'm gonna put this thing was about right here go ahead and fold our screens in which will concentrate sun now let's see if I can get you a, a picture now a couple of things I'd like to discuss when I did the video on canning butter I had several people uh, both at work and on Facebook page and uh, some others that ask why would you can butter why don't you just freeze it well the answer to that for me is simple that requires electricity if I can make a product shelf stable I'm not depending uh, on electricity if the power goes out for a week like we had in derecho which is I think one year ago yesterday or might have been two years ago yesterday we lost power for a week uh, at that time we had generators and such but if it's canned on the shelf I don't have to worry about it 
Now the next thing that I want to do, once the jars have been sitting uh, in the solar oven uh, for about 30 minutes now, number one is get my little uh, gauge, the little plastic. You've seen them if you've done any canning and uh, try to remove some of those bubbles. After I've done that, then I will wipe the rims down with vinegar and uh, then we're gonna put our lids on and we're just about home from there. The jars are hot, and I guess you can see the consistency, but I'd like to see it melt just a little bit more. So after I get these air bubbles out, we'll stick it back in there and let it go for maybe another 30 minutes. But hey, this is no electricity. I'm not heating up the house. I call this a win. We all know that water is pasteurized at 160 degrees. I've showed you the thermometer. These are sitting in 250 degrees. So uh, if any of you have any comments about botulism or so forth, then I guess you, I guess I'll hear about them anyway. But as I said, this is my method. And if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. I'll try to hang on to these jars, maybe try them at every six month intervals or something. It's looking really nice. I'm not worried about the tops yet until we get ready to put our lids and rings on. Here, the last one out here. Man, that sun is hot. I haven't checked the temperature, but it was uh, well into the 80s. Expected to get up to 90 today. I believe it will with no problem. This is looking really good. I think it's been long enough. I want to get these out of here. And as you can see in the background, I've already got my pot of water sitting on my solar burner. And I did a video on that. I think it's called, I can't remember, alternative, low cost alternative, something like that. But it really works great. But I've got my water in there. I will go ahead and get these out, wipe the rims and uh, prepare everything to do my water bath. All using solar, baby. That's easier. It's 
it's actually cooked onto the top, which is easy enough to get off. Okay. And, yes, I am reusing a lid. Haven't had a problem yet. I'm sure you can hear that. Right quick, whenever I focus the water into the sun, I don't know if this is going to pick this up or not. I'm already starting to see bubbles come up. Ouch. That's hot. We'll have to monitor this because, as you can see, I've got a lot of space between them jars and I don't want them to fall over. But, I'm not going to finish filling this big pot up with empty water jars. Well, they wouldn't be empty, but you know what. Our 20 minutes are just about up, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the tripod, and we're still boiling away, and uh, put our jars out on a clean towel. Something is biting the fire out of me. We'll figure it out later.
And all we have to do is stop this from bowling. Is get it out of the sun. Now, of course, this recipe can be done inside on a regular electric or a gas stove if you decide to do this. But today I wanted to show the possibilities of using solar implements so that you can accomplish everything that you would inside, outside. The thing about solar, it does not require uh, anything to be hot like it is today. I actually have a video, I think, again, I don't remember the names of the videos that I make, but it's like 30 some degrees outside and I've got 250 degrees in this exact solar cooker. So look it up and freedom for me not only means freedom from tyranny, social injustice, but it also means freedom uh, against rising inflation, uh, the, the availability of food, just like we've saw uh, meats disappearing off the shelves during COVID and uh, milk and cheese and canned goods. So freedom for me is a multifaceted idea. And I want you to think about that. Decide for yourself if this recipe is good for you and your family, but for me and mine, it's just okay. It's all right. I appreciate you watching. Please join us on Facebook, New and Old Survival on Facebook, and uh, leave your comments if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, uh, click the like, subscribe, all notifications, and I'll catch you again soon, I hope.